All right, you're welcome to Heroic Universal Concept International. Um, as usual, once I'm done with uh, a complex website, I normally make videos to explain how to use it. Okay, now this website is ready, so I'm about to start making the video how to use it. Um, actually, I'm going to concentrate more on the, the back end part of it, but I will touch the front end quickly. Okay, so when you look at this website, when you scroll, you're going to see products okay all the different products you know these features product all the categories of products where you are going to see some of the products uploaded here okay okay some all all the all the categories are represented okay with products okay these are categories okay you see all the products and categories if you want to see more products you click on these uh, uh, more option more products to see more okay so let's say you click on this product it will display a a page where you're going to see it in a bigger form you see it's in full okay here uh, if there's a, a name let's say product name you see the name the price and everything but because I don't know the name and the price I didn't add it uh, but on your own you have to add it I'll teach you how to add the name how to add the price and how to add everything okay so you are going to see the name the price even the description you are going to see a space for description too where you want to maybe you want to talk more about the product okay you describe the product the way it is for so that whoever that is interested in product the person who once the person click on this uh, on the product it will open a bigger form just like the just like it is now where you can now see all about the product including the details details of the product okay because the detail the, the details of the product will help the person the buyer make a, a rational decision whether he wants to buy or not okay so in the details you have to take your time to describe it well to convince the buyer to buy and then at this left section you're going to at the right section you're going to see colors in case if you want to call if the buyer wants to call you okay the owner of the website you can just click on this place then We'll call it the chat. Okay, if you want to chat your WhatsApp, you can click here to chat your WhatsApp. Maybe he wants to ask more questions before making the buying decision. Okay, <coughs> that's basically all about what you've got to know about this for the front end part of this. Then, uh, before you as a user or, or rather as the owner of the website, first thing that you're going to do before you have access to the dashboard of the website is that you have to come down at the at the footer of this website and click on sign up you click on sign up from here then you register you fill your details i'm not going to fill it because i've filled my own already fill your details and register once you are done registering it will lead you to log in okay but you can also click here to get to log in if you're already registered okay click on login you get to log in then here you type in your email to log into the dashboard which is your, this is my email and you type in your password then you click on login this is the dashboard of this website to get you to the dashboard of the website where you you do a lot of things and <coughs> let's concentrate here immediately so here in the dashboard you see that we have two users actually it is me i just registered twice okay so you if you register now it will become three users you can many other person you might need if you have some other persons that you want to also help with the management of your website the person can also register once the person re registers the person details will appear here okay the person's details will appear you see more persons registered okay if i should click on this users now you're going to see that you're going to see my my uh, my details but i'll see click on it later and here is the post post is all about blog you know your website also has blog if you want to blog like if you want to write about your product uh, and post it in your website so that when people visit your website they click on blog they see more information about your product you can write it here i just wrote just one that's why you have more one post here then the number of products we have here is 59 products okay customers feedback in case if customers if a customer visits your website and uh, click on contact and send you information from that contact page it, it will appear here okay then this profile this is where your profile is when you click here get a profile then comment if you look at the product if i should uh, 
Okay, let me let me open your product here. here. Now I'm actually using the local host for now. Okay, we still we still get your product. Okay, let me open your let me open one product here now. All right. So when you walk here, when you look at here, you're gonna see that we have comments. Okay, this is where, where after someone must have seen the product, maybe someone that has purchased it before or has used it or just want to make a comment, person can just type in his name, email and drop a comment. Okay, so if the person drops a comment, you're going to see it here. Okay, so that is all about the dashboard. I mean, the, the main dashboard as in the home part of it. Then on the profile, page, when you click on profile, you're going to see your profile. If if I up, up, I'm updated my profile picture, it will appear here because I didn't update it. So that's why it is like this. So this is my profile here. Okay, then you can edit profile from there as well. Then this is uh, users. You know, when you, if you if if you should click here, you are, you are still going to get to, to the same uh, page. Okay, if you click here, you are still going to get to the same place. Users. Okay, this is uh, the two users I entered. Okay. If you want this one is admin this one is a user okay then if you as a customer if you register if you click on sign up and register you need to let me know you need to inform me so that i will log in and make you an admin as the owner of the website because you need to be admin for you to be able to assess everything here if you are just a user if you log in as a user there are stuff here you are not going to see because if some of the things here are restricted for admin so when you log in you have to let me know from inform me that mm, sorry when you register you have to let let me know you have to inform me that you have registered so that i will make you an admin okay i will log in and make you an admin for you to have full mm -hmm. access to everything in this world in this website you understand all right um so that is the user section from here now if you scroll to the right you're going to see that make you see make admin so once you become an admin you are you're going to see this button this button you can click mm -hmm. if someone maybe someone else to register you want someone to manage your website the person who registered you can log into the this section and make the person admin click here the person becomes an admin but if, if, if you don't need that person again you don't want the person to go you click here to delete the person okay if i make very click here now this person becomes an admin you see that person has become an admin okay mm -hmm. If I click here, do you see that the person is deleted? So that's how to delete admin. I mean, anybody you want to delete as the admin that you are. Okay, so that's by the way. Then that's it. Then let's quickly move down because I, I just want to cover up everything in one video. That's why I'm rushing it. Okay, let's quickly move down to products. How to. Um, oh, I don't think I can cover everything in one video, but let me try. Okay, now this order the products where you want to insert products or view products you have mm -hmm. in the website you can view product from here you can add new product Let, let's view the products we have already all the products you are seeing in that website mm -hmm. this is where you are going to see them you see everything here you are going to see the product image you see that i have not entered the name because i didn't know the name okay you see the category of the product you see the price i have not entered the price no comment yet no views yet okay all right so when you move to the towards the side you are going to see options option button okay then you click on edit if in case if you want to add prices to this product or you want if you want to change the product you can it can delete the product in case if you want to delete the product and add your own products then you can delete but if you if you're okay with the products if you think that is what you need then but you want to edit it you can click on edit from here Okay, when you click on edit, this page will appear. This is where you type in the name. Okay, type in, choose the category. Then type in the price. Okay, tag. The, you have to type in, tag is actually used to search for the product in case if product is being searched. But it's not compulsory. You mustn't put everything. Publisher. Publisher is the name, the person publishing it. For example, if I'm the one, then I will type in my name. If you are the one, you have to type in your name. <coughs> okay then this is now the place where you type in the full description of your product okay you describe the product the way it will it will uh, attract your customer the customer will get interested in it okay type in everything about it maybe you know why why convincing a customer to buy the product there are stuff you say okay maybe the features the product has what the product can do and all the rest of that just write everything here 
because whatever you write here and submit is what you are is what is going to appear in your website and the customers will read it do you get me so you type in the the details here upload the image whatever image you want then then update the product okay so so that's basically how to update the product okay um then let's see go to the product again okay we've seen view products okay if you want to delete products just the same thing once you go to products you click on this option button and click on delete but i don't want to delete the product okay so that's uh, all about the product then the, on the category category i believe you know what i mean by category you know when you go to your product uh, your website right now uh when you go up here when you click on product these all these are options they are all products category okay when you click on product see options that has product categories you can click on any of the category and wait for it to display the product it will display all commercial ovens that you have you understand so if you click on it choose another one cooking equipment it will display all cooking equipment so in case if you want to change any of these categories to another thing or you want to add more categories to it so you do it from here okay just come to categories then if you want to add more you can click on add categories then you type in the category then put the category image you type in category put the category image because any category you are typing just we are going to use one image to represent it okay then you insert category you understand me so then if you want to view categories all the categories you've inserted you want to view it this these are uh, these are the categories here these are the category images you can delete category if you want to you can edit category unless you want to change any, any, anything here you can click here type in a new thing insert a new image if you want to then and you update the category okay that's how to update the category of the product here is a video tutorial you know um for now it's gonna be empty okay but by the time i'm done with this video i will, I will add it i'll add this video to there in case if you want to go back to the video to forget to remember what you forgot you just click on video tutorial to it will show you the video that will teach you how to use the the um the website okay and then other things are uh, comments like when people make make comments in the website the comments will appear here okay once the comment appears what will happen is that you can you see an option button where you can approve a comment because when if someone makes a comment on your website that comment will not be approved until you log in you click on the option button and approve it once you click on the option button and approve it it will not show in your website you know why this is so important because some people might come and make uh, an unacceptable comment and if it should appear automatically to your website it will affect other customers you understand me so you can now decide which comment appears in the website and which one you should delete so those options are here when you when you when you begin to see comments there then you see the options there okay so that's by the way mm, then customers feedback customers feedback is if when let's say people come to your website they click on contact from here now then they type in their name their email their phone number then they drop message here the message will not appear in the customers contact from here so when you log in click on customers feedback you see what the customer says okay then you cannot pick their email in case if you want to uh, call uh, send them mail or call them you cannot pick their email from here and uh, call them i mean send them email or call them okay for business negotiation um, think in a nutshell that is it. okay one more thing here is the post post is for blog like when you want to post something you type in something a, a blog okay you want to post it to your website just you can add new blog you can just type in the title type in the select the category of the blog if you click here you're going to see many categories see news about objection theme in case if you if you begin to talk about making videos okay you can click here then make youtube video copy youtube link and paste here it will appear 
That's by the way, then editorial, politics, features, international, sports, crime, whatever, whatever, whatever. It depends on what you want. Okay, you just choose the category, then type in your name, type in any tag, anything people can use to share, search for it. Okay, then publish this. If you want if you want it to show, if you want this post to show automatically when you post it, to it will show in your website automatically. If you choose draft, it will not show in your website. It will just be saved, but it will not show until you publish it. Do you understand me? Alright, then you product you upload the image that will accompany the the blog. Okay. Then if the image has a caption, like a caption of the image, you type in the caption here, then then you type in the, your content as in your blog here. Uh, this is where you post your blog, the message you want to appear in your website. Then you, pub you publish post. It will appear as a blog in your website. So that's how it is. Alright, so that said, um, I think we covered everything. Then for the blog, you can also view the blog you published already in your website. You just click on view post. Alright, you see the one I've published already. You see uh, this is the content drop somewhere and then this is uh, me publishing it. Uh, this is the image I used to represent it. This is just all about your website, about your website actually, about your business. Okay, now let me uh, actually let me go back and show you how it appears. If you click on blog right now, you're gonna see. Look at it. Okay, you're gonna see uh, uh, see everything. See by Ushijo three days ago. I published it three days ago. You understand? So if you click on blog, you see everything about it. You see it. You see the message. Okay. So that's basically all about your website how to use it so when you are done using the website when you are done with 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 everything you want to do in this website then you have to log out okay so that's basically how just know most of the things i think you are likely going to be doing from time to time is products mostly on products adding new products when you have new product you just snap the picture of that product then you add it just bear in mind that you have to reduce the size of that product so that the image size shouldn't be more than one megabyte so you have to reduce it to below one megabyte okay for the image to be uploaded successfully all right so that's basically it thank you so much